last time on Star Trek Online. We are fighting a war on multiple fronts. We have to consider the Borg, the Undine, and the Romulans, as well as the Klingons. I see now my deception has been exposed. Starfleet has lost too many ships and too many good men and women to a fight we now know was caused by Iconian and Undine influence. Is that... An Iconian gateway? Yes, I believe it is. Into the gateway, now! Are all those markers Iconian gateways? Sir, we've been scanning the gateway. The monitors on the bridge are all showing an Omega. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. We are within the Solanae Dyson Sphere, a spherical structure built around a star. We now know why the sphere generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. It now appears that the Janolan sphere had the same jump capabilities as the Solanae and moved to this location. You're not, Cooper. We will repel the Undine and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the renewed threat. The Undine are a threat to us all. I propose a summit. We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy. And now, the continuation. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. I will admit that I did not expect to be here with Voyager again. It is agreeable. Thank you for agreeing to attend this conference and supporting my position on the Undine. However, reaching a consensus today will be difficult. Many different agendas will be represented here today. I will speak to you in person shortly. Tuvok out. Welcome to the Janola Dyson Sphere. Please beam down to these coordinates. Good to see you. I'd say you're right on time, but it looks... Thank you for joining us here. We need assistance with preparations for the conference. The Romulan and Klingon delegations are still in private deliberations, but other delegates are arriving. Several preliminary tasks remain before we can begin the presentation. Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir?
This Cardassian thug is trying to push Bajor out of this. I simply inquired about the Ambassador's presence at the conference. After all, Bajor is a member of the Federation. Ambassador Sugihara is capable of representing them, along with the Deltans, Andorians, Vulcans, and everyone else, even the Tellarites. Though, I suspect they'd argue that point rather robustly. Indeed. One wonders how well that gateway would have fared if Deep Space Nine was of Bajoran manufacture rather than Cardassian. The Federation's track record on wormhole security is far from ideal. One only needs to consider the multiple Dominion occupations of the station for proof of that point. Ah, predictable response. Then again, it's certainly no secret where Federation loyalties lie in the Alpha Quadrant. I suppose expecting a more balanced approach was wishful thinking on my part. Accusations of Cardassian malfeasance aside, I would remind you both that we are here to seek a... Indeed! One wonders how well that gateway would have fared... A predictable response. Indeed! One wonders how well that gateway would have fared if Deep Space Nine was a... a predictable response. This Cardassian thug... I simply inquired about the Ambassador's presence at... I thought Federation membership meant st... I simply inquired about the amb... Indeed. A predictable response. Indeed. This Cardassian thug is trying to push me. I simply inquired about the Ambassador's presence at the conference. After all, Bajor is a member of the Federation. Indeed. One wonders how... The Federation has never made a policy of preventing member worlds from overseeing their own interests in conjunction with Federation efforts. Or is Bajor going to be treated differently? Well said. Per the preliminary tasks are complete. You should speak with Admiral Tuvok again. Thank you for your assistance. Please take the opportunity to speak with the very... The Zindi are here to support Admiral Tuvok's call for cooperation. We know what tragedies befall a people who are being manipulated by outsiders, as we once were. The Undine's lies and manipulation remind us of the Sphere Builders, whose deceptions led us to make one of the greatest mistakes in our history. There are five races on my world. We all know reaching a consensus can be difficult, but the Zindi are living proof that if we put aside animosity, our di- The Federation's position is quite clear. We believe the only way to safeguard the future of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants is for all the galactic powers to behave as reasonable entities and work together to a I sincerely hope that the Federation is not wasting our time here. If your presentation is to explain the threat posed by the Undine, let me spare you the effort. The Klingon Empire has been aware of this threat for quite... Thank you for the invitation. Starfleet certainly knows how to organize their- Yes, the Undine. 
very interesting. You've spoken with representatives of all of the delegations. You should return to Admiral Tuvok. We are almost ready to begin. Will you complete the final preparations for the conference while I speak? I was just going. Oh, yes, I will take my seat. I suppose... You can start the presentation from the control console. The Undine represent a clear and present danger to not only the Federation, but also the Klingon Empire and Romulan Republic. The damage done here by a mere handful of ships is clear evidence for the need for cooperation. With respect, Admiral, the Romulan Republic is quite capable of leading exploration and security measures here. Just as we have led efforts to secure the Solene Sphere. My militia... I find it interesting that the Federation suddenly has concerns about the Undine now. Where was the Federation when the Empire discovered unseen infiltrators in the Alpha Quadrant? Or is the Federation only interested now? The Undine threatens something you want. Given the exceptionally complicated nature of such... Ambassador, given what we now know, that was a mistake. The Empire recognized the Undine threat years ago. We didn't. You admit you are wrong? The evidence provided by Admiral Tuvok and his team is sound. Thank you, Captain Sean. However, dwelling on past mistakes will not solve the problems of the present. Our fleet stands ready to protect both spheres from the Undine. The Undine can wait. We have more important business to discuss. Who owns this sphere? I represent a consortium of businessmen on Ferenginar. We are prepared to invest significant venture capital into transforming this sphere into a vacation destination to rival Risa. I have a proposal of half a million bar of... Watch that. To walk to Voyager. Report. Vessels just appeared from a rift. They're setting a course for the gateway. The Undine? What do they want? Unknown. Drop to Lisette. Track their course. Enterprise to Captain Sean. We're receiving a distress signal from Earth's space dock. Sean to Federation fleet. Red alert. Prepare for immediate departure. The Federation is our enemy. But the Undine attack like assassins in the night. We will crush the comic coup! A significant Undine force is headed for the Sol system. We must stop the Undine.
Wow. So they're actually on the, the space dock. Something else I've really come to love about this game is the fact that um, it's actually also very story driven. Um, and it's like being in the film and taking part in decisions. I am picking up several distress calls from across the system. Curious. Negative. The subspace relay booster network appears to be offline. Agreed. Enterprise will clear the... Fine. Enterprise will set course for... Hi, welcome to the stream. We're in the middle of um, a new storyline. And Dean have attacked a space stop. And we are looking to defend it. So, yeah, we're just starting a huge battle here now. The Undine are really gruesome fighters actually, some of their ships are really difficult to destroy. Uh, however, this is going to be a huge fleet battle. My ship is operational. We will fall in and help you make a drive for the space station. Whoa, that was a bit of a fight there. Just need to get round and do some damage on that. There we go. That should... Saul will not be second as long as species A472 vessels remain in the system. Okay, so we need to actually carry on now. Earth's space dock is taking severe structural damage. Wow, look at the damage done to that. Okay, let's get in here. We are a little bit in the wrong place here. We need to move out. At the moment, we are stuck between too many enemies. Get out of here. Tuvok, we're on our way. Give us a little bit of a chance. If we do not hurry, Earth's space dock may be destroyed. I understand. Trying to get there as fast as possible. Take this guy out here first. Is it? No. I didn't think it'd be good news. No match for King on Warrior. We will put an end to this together.
these horrible little clouds really do cause damage. Many left now, surely. Yeah, it looks like we succeeded there. Any ships still in range? There are Undine hunting parties on Earth's space dock. We're, we're fighting. There are Undine ships. I've received orders from New Romulus. In light of this situation, the Lisette is being recalled to defend the homeworld. I will contact you if there is any. The boarding parties on Earth's space dock should be our main. All right, let's go down and do some uh, ground battling. This should hopefully tonight finish our um, our episode. If it loads, does seem like we may have just got stuck. Oh no, there she is. She's loading. That's good. Our mission objectives are clear. We must ascertain the whereabouts of Admiral Earth Space and dispel all Undine severe damage from multiple Undine teams from other ships, must locate Admiral including Fleet. some Klingon and Romulan vessels, have beamed to lower the most expedient station path to the Admiral's office. Is While their willingness doors. to assist us is unexpected. Let's go. There's more going. We need to manually activate the fire suppression. I thought Earth Space Dock would be a quiet assignment. Be cautious. There are more Undine nearby.
Admiral Tulvak, I'm gonna help hold this position. I'm not much of a soldier, but I can make repairs. Be cautious. There are more Undine nearby. I'll stay here. Good luck. game oh, just to get some more resources always good to get resources now we'll go and do the mission sorry to vote it's not really here should have known. Shape-shifting nature of species 8472 makes them a dangerous foe. We will have to proceed with caution to avoid being caught unaware again. Perhaps we can establish more reliable communications by directly linking to them. I will cover you. Will you? Okay. Cover me then. Who is this? Communications are damaged. One moment. This is Ed. I suppose that's a valid question. You reported to me after the attack on Vega Colony. I took a chance on promoting you. I see now it was the right one. Admiral Tuvok, we spoke briefly about your mission right before you reported back to Voyager. You mentioned your wife and said it was fortunate you had time to visit Vulcan to see Tapel before the conference. Dean boarding. Stay alert for more imposters. It has to be this way then. Still more undine on the station. I can feel their anger.
way is blocked. There may be an alternate route on the upper deck. Admiral Quinn and Commander Egan are below. The Admiral appears to require medical treatment. It is agreeable to see you, Admiral. of resistance Starfleet has offered is unexpected. That being said... The weak will perish! And you are weak!
Reagan was an undine? That would explain what happened to our defense grid. He would have known they were coming, and had ample opportunity to sabotage us. Damn, I didn't see that coming. and the Empire have been at war for far too long. arrived in the Kronos system. At this time, the ruins of Praxis are concealing our arrival from the Undine. The Klingon homeworld defense fleet has engaged the bulk of the Undine forces, but they have... Just two Federation ships? Two? Where is the Enterprise? The Romulans have promised additional aid, as has Starfleet Command. The Enterprise... Words are meaningless. Deeds show the true art of a... Republic has made commitments to its allies. We are here to honor them.
defenses alone will not be enough to stop the Undine advance. We would not be alone if anyone in the Federation had the heart of a warrior. Exactly. We brought a few friends. Welcome to the stream. You've joined us in the middle of a big battle against the Udine. Get the shields down.
So the Yudin uh, launched a huge fleet attack against Koinos and the Federation have all come together to help them. Just jumped into the hornet's nest without any help. Let's see if I can survive this now. Cutscene, just in time to give a little bit of a breather there. Welcome to the stream, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy Star Trek as much as I do. What's this coming through, the rifts? Don't like the look of those, they look big and horrible. No idea what they are. What is that thing? The Undine have brought a large craft through a quantum singularity. They're powering up weapons. I'd like to know what the weapon in a tentacle is. But maybe I don't want to find out close. Oh, what? Is the planet killer? The Undine oh. have a new planet killer. Oh, my lord. Target that ship, and fire all weapons! No effect! Is They're too, too strong! Us? Voyager has one nanite torpedo remaining from her time in the Delta Quadrant. Such devices proved effective against the Undine in the past. Tactical. Fire when ready. They took some damage, but the planet killer can still fire. I can get the Aquarius into firing position above her and exploit the opening in her shields, but someone will need to keep the Undine distracted. Okay, we'll do that. I didn't think I was this powerful, but I'll take whatever you're going to give me. Have Sean's coordinates. Getting locked now, sir. Beam Sean out. Beam him out. He did it, sir. The planet killer has been destroyed. What about Sean? To to Allied fleet. Stand down. The Undine 
are retreating. Yay. Captain Sean. Transporter room. Did uh, you get him? Did they get Sean? We have Captain Sean to Admiral Tuvok. Permission to come aboard? Well done, Sean. Awesome stuff. The Klingon right. High Council wishes to discuss the most recent developments. We have been invited to transport directly to the High Council chambers. Right, let's go down and speak to the uh, the Ridgebacks. Sorry, Klingons. Hey, welcome to the stream. We've just beaten off the Udine uh, fleet that attacked Quonos, and we're just about to go and talk to the Empire uh, Council. Um, so we're coming to the end of um, one of the episodes of the game. And uh, it's been pretty hard one, actually, fighting the Udine. The ships can be quite awkward. If you've only just joined, you've just missed the big battle. Probably the biggest battle I've ever been in. Let's go and see what we need to do here. Let's talk to Tuvok. There are many here who have seen the danger Species A472 presents with their own eyes for the first time. Thank you for your assistance in protecting both Earth and Kronos from the Undine. However terrible, this battle did have one benefit. Today's fight opened the door to what may be a lasting peace between the Federation and the Empire. Now we must have what I love about this game is, is good. that it's got space its way, battles, it's got ground battles, waging war. Um, it's got the looting, it's soon. got Until then, um, leveling up, the time to speak but it's to also got story, and it's almost like you're in a film or a TV series. And just following that is is really good fun. Okay, so celebrate, talk with others, toast to victory. Okay, who shall... Oh. Who's this? Sean, definitely the that hero of the day. One. But I'm fortunate Voyager transported me off the ship at the last second. It would have been a worthy sacrifice. Kronos is too important to lose. Thank you, Sean. You are the hero. Who's this? Quinn, a glad you survived. Be on the table yet, but I hope we can at least broker a lasting armistice. But for Thank you, Admiral. Yes, let's have a look. Empire's representative. My people have respected the Federation ever since our first encounter with your famed Captain Kirk. I have advised Chancellor Jimpok that the Gorn support the idea of a ceasefire. Perhaps... Thank you, Ambassador. Right, let's go and find... Uh, oh, time we can our say hi to come from a culture of deception and division. We've rejected our past in Romulans. favor of open alliances. Perhaps it's time for the Federation and the Empire to set aside their past as well. Yes, indeed. Who else have we got to speak to? Uh, well, I still think there's the. Oh, yep. Uh, you have there shown your is, in major fact. Wharf was correct. Ah, the Klingons. There is honor in the Federation. The conflict between us has gone on long enough. Now we should turn our blades toward the real enemy. Indeed. I remember you from the gateway activation. You fought well today. May our meetings on the battlefield always be as glorious. Thank you, Captain. Who else have we got to talk to? Okay, let's have a look. Oh, uh, yes. Yep. Earth and Kronos Jarak. are safe and the Romulan Republic is pleased to assist its allies. I just Thank wish you, my Jarek. daughter could see all of us working together toward a common goal. And not forgetting the Zinzi, of course. Come on, out of the way, I want to talk to the Zinzi. Oh, sorry, Zindi. The five Zindi. races of the Zindi correctly. once tried to exterminate humanity. But through the efforts of a few people who were willing to change, we put aside our weapons and worked through our differences. Now we are members of the Federation. Peace of course, came the Undine are changelings. But they that can is the way of take any appearance worth having. And a lot of deception. So, yep, yeah, it's going to be a long way to go. What else have we got to do? Oh, nearly 84%. All right, who have we got to talk to here? 
Ah, House of Clack Pilates. Oh, more Clemens. I did not to act with such honor. I do not know what the final decision of the High Council will be, but rest assured that the Welcome to the stream. Do type say hello in the chat. Uh, let me know who you are. It's always good to welcome today. people, and especially people I've not seen before. Uh, we're just coming to the end of one of the episode stories. Uh, we just fought up the Udine. Huge fleet came in and started to attack quite a um, with a planet killer. Hey, Empire. Wolf. There are many on both sides of the current conflict for whom I so have So we're just finishing off respect. this episode before we start I the next one. as an opportunity we may find we have we may indeed okay let's have a look talk with the others toast to victory dance with the others use party devices okay speak with Chancellor Jim Pot where are you there we go hey Chancellor you fought well for someone from Starfleet thank you Right, let's see how this is going on. Admiral Quill. Many fine warriors have earned their places in Stovacor today. They died with honor, fighting one of our most formidable enemies. The Considering this is a free game, free download, the free to play, the content always back. amazes me of how much is being put into it. Yes, there's glitches. The graphics aren't the best, but the story is really good. Hello, Oliver. How are you, man? Hello, who's this with the nice legs? So, you are the heroes of the Milky Way. You have come further than we expected. But still, you chase our shadows. We are not here to impress you, demon. We stand united, and there is no one who can... Whoops. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hey, welcome to the stream. Oh, eating lunch? My God, it is um, it's quite late here to be here. It's about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. No, 1 o'clock in the morning. So I've been uh, streaming since 8.30 this evening. Um, wanting to finish off this, this episode. I'm hoping this is coming to the end of the episode. Because I said I'd carry on streaming until we finished it tonight. It's been a real Agreed. different episode From to this the day others. Forward, all hostilities between the Empire and the Federation will What are you cease. having for lunch, Olive? The Iconians still. use servitor races and other species to do their fighting for them. Dyson species A472 has been one. an unknowing cat's paw of the Iconians for some time. 2.10%. This time, however, the Undine were defeated, and it was our combined strength that allowed us to prevail. Thousands of years ago, the Iconians were defeated by an alliance of races. I predict their ultimate aim has been to prevent such an alliance from happening again. Yeah. There have been periods okay. in our combined history when the Federation and the Empire have not. Oh, been I war, love reps. But they oh, have not been allies either. Oh, where, where are you this from again, Ali? Is it of such a uh, time? It will be England? up to us to determine what happens next. With time, we may even restore the alliance that came out of the Kittimer Accords. Voyager will return to the Delta Quadrant. There is much to do there. And the Janolan Spear will need to be protected from further undue uh, Netherlands. Oh, hence I am sure the I will see you again. and the salami rats. You have been a yep. worthy ally. I spent and your wisdom many, and many years in Germany and uh, visited Holland quite a Until lot. Then, and I used to love the food and, prosper. and, and the, the, the way they eat, the, that, that type of food. And I do love my uh, salami and my pepperoni and those sort of meats. Okay, until next time, Admiral, make it so. Want to beam up.
loading the beta travel to silent Dyson sphere let me just check see um where we're at with regard to this episode so you can see we've done the age of discovery klingon war romulan cardassian new romulus Solanus. There's still only 90%. Oh my lord, what do we have to do to finish this? Surface tension? That's what I thought I just did. Ah, hold on, maybe you just need to end it. So that's what I'm going to get. Um, plus the reward. What's counter command profession specifics. Uh, it's a rare kit. It's a Mark 10 for an engineering officer, uh, which I'm not. I'm a tactical officer, so that's probably not going to be very good for me. Uh, what else have we got? What other choice? Ground trait, fluidic antigens. Uh, ground trait, fluidic antigens, plus 20 toxic damage resistance when you 10 for move one tax. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, space trait. Mm, point not five hole regeneration in combat. It's not bad. It's in combat. Most regeneration has to take place out of combat. Uh, can, right. Okay. So what's this one then? This is Mark Ten. That's for science officer. There you go. Command specific. This is more at tactical officer. Uh, plus 64, 67.5% willpower resistance to ground control effects. Yep. Uh, counter command increased damage versus undane. Plus 10% all damage versus undane. Well, we're going to be fighting a lot of those next. Uh, it's part of a set. Which will then give us added bonus. So perhaps we could go for that one. We need to get those sets there. Uh, what else is there? Tactical console. So this obviously is for the uh, starship. Tactical counter command multi conduit energy relay. Ship tactical console. Phaser damage plus 11% radiation damage. Uh -huh. Photon projectile weapon. That would do part of a set. That's looking favorite at the moment. I think the console as well, Ollie, yeah. I think that's going to be more use. Yep, I think it is going to be the console. Good decision, mate. Glad you're on board. Let's just make sure I collect the right one. Counter command console. Yep, definitely that one. Congratulations, Admiral. And guys, well, that's it. I've got to level 50. Um, so, it does look like I've achieved two things okay is it a good one for PvP ah yes so that's gonna unlock a lot of stuff um, just a check I was I'm hoping yes it is so that's that's it finished so I finished the Solana Dyson sphere and that's got me to level 50 as well. So that's a double hit tonight.